It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Germany. It's a bottle of Herforder Brewery, Herforder Pills, coming in at 4.8% ABV. I like the look of this, and I tell you what I really like about German beers, and it only really comes from Germany, is the fact that in Germany they, they send the bottles back to the brewery. I'm not sure if they get any money, a little sum of money to, for sending the bottles back, but you can see it because there's the track marks of when the beer gets refilled or when it gets cleaned and refilled. See it there? And this must have happened with this beer, or with this bottle, time after time after time after time. And then it gets sent to the UK, and that's where this journey ends, because we, over here we don't do any kind of recycling of bottles for breweries. We just send it into the recycling where it gets crushed and remade into new glass. So it's the end of the road then for this particular bottle. But here is the bottle cap. Pardon me. Her for the pills. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. At this stage of the review, I would like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. They're the largest online beer store in the UK with great beers from Germany, as we have here, Belgium, France, some Italian craft beer. Wow, look at that head. Some great American beer and of course, good British beer from some really nice breweries in the UK. Let's see if there's any yeast in this bottle. I don't think it is a bottle conditioned beer. It's a pills, not a Hefeweizen. But wow, that is authentic Germany, isn't it? Whenever you watch the TV, whenever you uh, see a German with a beer glass in his hand, he's, he's always got a big, thick, three or four finger head. It's exactly what it's got. It's a golden colour beer. Look at the colour of that beer. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's a very light, golden, clear, crisp looking beer. Nice rolling carbonation from the bottom up to the top. It's quite a lively beer. Let's get the aroma on this golden coloured beer then. And for all of that lovely head and all of that nice looking kind of golden coloured beer, there's not really too much going on in the aroma. Picking up a little bit of spice, a little bit of wheat, maybe a bit of malt, and a slight lemony aroma. Let's see if it's all about the taste then with this beer. Quite sweet. Very bready. That is one thing that is putting a smile on my face. I have reviewed some Ukrainian premium beers and Russian premium beers that looked exactly like this recently and, it, and they've been just corn beers, rice beers, they were awful, just carbonated rubbish. But this, it's a very different beast. It's slightly sweet, but it's very bready, very malty. Little bit of lemon, little bit of spice, little bit of dryness. It's unremarkably good. It's a beer that if you were in Germany or if you were on holiday somewhere and you found this and you bought four bottles, you'd perhaps sit around the pool on holiday, drink a few of these, really enjoy it. But then when you got back home, you'd forget the name of the brewery or forget the beer completely after a few days. And somebody would say to you, what were you drinking on holiday? Or what were you drinking when you were working away in Germany? And you'd be scratching your head and you'd be thinking, uh, I don't know, but it was okay. You know, it was an okay beer. It wasn't great. It was, it was, 
It was malty, it was a little bready, but I can't think of the name. And that's because it's not a great beer. It's not a, a really kind of absolutely outstanding, mind-bending, mind or thought, where you put a lot of thought into the beer, um, into the brewery, and you remember it because it's a great beer. It's good, but it's unremarkably good. As with all things German, it's well made. This is well made. And that's it. That's it really. So a bit of spice, a bit of lemon, loads of bready, biscuity malts. It's nicely carbonated. It's very smooth. You could you could drink pint after pint after pint of this. You really could. It is the ideal session beer. I've not really got anything else I can say. Where's it from? Uh, it's from Hereford. Hereford a brewery. Hereford in Germany. Do you know what? I'm looking at it and I don't even think I've been saying Germany, Germany, Germany. It may not even be a German beer. Let me show you. There's the reason there, Browery. Browery, I'm not sure if Browery is Belgium. I don't think it's a Belgian beer. No, it is a German beer. What am I what am I talking about? Anyway, anyway, let's give it a rating. Her Ford of Pills. For me. It's a decent beer, it's a 7 out of 10. But just don't expect me to remember it next week. Go out and try it. It's pretty decent. If you like a German Pils, it's drinkable. If you want four beers or a barbecue that doesn't taste mass produced, you want a cold lager, then go for the Herd Ford of Pils. It's pretty decent. Put your comments in the comments box. Thanks to beersofeurope.co.uk for sending and cheers.